Welcome back to 4029 News on the Record. Continuing our conversation about the Senate Omnibus Bill on Education, Senator uh, Greg Letting is here with us. Senator Letting is from Fayetteville and also a Democrat uh, representing the Senate minority. Uh, you're the Senate minority leader. Now, uh, Senator, thanks so much for joining us. Can you kind of go over uh, this legislation, the bill, what's in it, what uh, is not working out for you from your perspective? Sure. I mean, there's a lot in it, to be clear. It's 144 pages. We very rarely see legislation of that kind of length. Uh, so there's a lot to process uh, and have a lot of questions coming in from my superintendent, principals, teachers, people all across the state. Uh, I think the thing that alarms most Arkansans and those who care about public education is the voucher component, the significant expansion of vouchers, uh, and then also the repeal of the Teacher Fair Dismissal Act. Uh, that's got a lot of people very concerned. Uh, there are things in this bill that I like uh, and, and some things that I'm just somewhat ambivalent about, uh, but there are pay raises in there. Uh, I was glad to see that Republicans met the Democrats when uh, uh, on the $50,000 minimum salary for teachers. Uh, there's a pay increase in there for classified staff. There are things in there to help improve literacy. Uh, there are volunteer programs, uh, more uh, options for people who, you know, uh, higher education might not be the path for them, uh, but we still want to make sure that they are fully prepared to enter the workforce when they graduate high school, so there are other options in there. Uh, but it's like they bundled all this stuff together to make it really difficult to vote against, again, because uh, this is not the first attempt to pass vouchers in Arkansas. Uh, Republicans have had the majority for a while uh, and so far have, have only managed to establish very small uh, voucher programs. Uh, and so I think it says a lot about those core components that they're having to pack in all these other things in order to make the legislation palatable for for lawmakers to uh, support. All right, interesting uh, perspective there. Now, Senator, you did mention the two big issues that you uh, raised concern about was a voucher program and then the Teacher Fair Dismissal Act. Let's first break down the Teacher Fair Dismissal Act. What is it exactly and uh, what is wrong with it? Uh, the, fair, the Teacher Fair Dismissal Act helps protect teachers. Um, you know, Arkansas is a right to work state, uh, and so it helps give teachers a due process if there's ever a complaint against them. Obviously, we want to ensure that we have the best teachers available in the classroom, uh, but we want to make sure that they are afforded some employment protections. And so that's what the Teacher Fair Dismissal Act does. Repealing it takes away that due process for educators in Arkansas. And so there's a lot of concern uh, that we are going to see an exodus of teachers um, since they know, they know they're not going to no longer have these employment protections. So if they don't have those employment uh, protections, is it just up to the superintendent to fire <laughs> at will? Or? There's, there's concern. I mean, we have been assured by Republican lawmakers behind the legislation that there is still a due process element, but if it's in the legislation, we haven't been able to find it. And so things that we're hearing from superintendents, school board members, principals, and teachers is where is that due process uh, if we are removing the Teacher Fair Dismissal Act? Okay. Would that give too much power, would you say, to the principal or the superintendent, or uh, how does that work? Uh, I'm not sure who would necessarily have more power there. I think the more important thing is that it's taking away important protections for uh, public school teachers who are working very hard uh, to uh, educate kids each and every day in Arkansas. Let's talk about the vouchers. Um, what uh, alarms do you see when it comes to vouchers? The biggest thing is just going to be the cost, but also that we are going to be diverting public dollars away from public schools and sending them to private entities. Uh, and there don't seem to be very many regulations on, on who could open up uh, an open enrollment charter school or a private school uh, and get these public dollars. So there's a lot of concern. Not only is this going to cost a lot, but you're going to be sending, again, public dollars to private entities. Uh, there are a lot of schools all across Arkansas that are strapped for resources. We should be doing more to support them and invest in them instead of draining resources away from those institutions. What do you think about the uh, tutoring program? I think it's a $500 uh, towards tutors for students. Right, that's one of the components that I think we could absolutely support. We like the idea of more supports for students. We do have some questions about uh, what kind of accountability there's going to be there. Again, since we're going to be paying these tutors, where that funding going to come from? And uh, how is that accountability piece going to be put in place? Okay. Uh, what do you think about uh, the uh, gender teachings and, uh, and sex teachings, uh, holding them off until fifth grade? I don't know how many conversations below fifth grade on those issues were happening. Uh, certainly, there comes an appropriate time to have those conversations in the classroom. But again, some of the concerns we've had from superintendents and principals is just what is going to meet that measurement? Who's going to decide what counts as that kind of conversation? Um, you know, are, are, are teachers going to be able to talk about their own marriage if their students ask about their marriage? Uh, are they going to be able to talk about having kids uh, if their students ask them about, you know, their children? So there's just concerns there, not necessarily with the core idea, but with how it's going to be put in place. And that's, that's really the core issue with this entire bill, something this sweeping. 
uh, that is, is going to move through the legislative process this quickly, there's going to be a lot that we just simply don't know until it becomes law and we're dealing with uh, what could be unintended consequences. Yeah, there is a lot to unpack for sure. Uh, Senator, before you go, one more question for you. This uh, bill aims to ban critical race theory altogether. Your thoughts on that? That's just a talking point. Uh, the critical race theory is not taught in any K-12 school in Arkansas. It's, it's not even a thing. It is a framework. It is an approach to understanding uh, policies that were put in place uh, that are deeply rooted in racism. It's not something that is taught. It is an approach to thinking. Mm -hmm. And we need more critical thinking in our schools. Uh, if you read through the bill, that particular section, there is some concerning language in there, but it does not prohibit the teaching of, uh, of history, of ideas, mm -hmm. that we, of difficult ideas that we've encountered. Uh, so I think that's just really something they threw in there to try and satisfy a certain element of the political base. All right, Senate Minority Leader Greg Lighting joining us from Little Rock. He's from Fayetteville. Thank you so much, Senator, for giving us your take on this giant omnibus bill. Thank you for joining us on 4029 News on the Record.